What's up, motherfuckers? What's going on, man? Everyone's having a cool summer or what, man? Anyways, me, I'm just trying to fucking survive this wave, the heat wave this that's coming here in Vegas, man. If you're in Vegas, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, man. But yeah, man, I gotta tell you guys, okay, I'm not the biggest fan of fucking Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer, uh, really... Amy Schumer is like one of those comedians that you're like, oh man, like maybe she said like one thing that was funny in her whole career, you know, maybe one funny joke and that's about it. Why is she st still famous? I don't fucking know, man. But I have to say, and I have to give credit where credit is due. I just saw that movie, uh, I Feel Pretty and... I watched it. I I did not expect anything. I expected, like, I actually went in this movie expecting it to be worse than that movie Trainwreck, which was awful. If it wasn't for John Cena, that movie, uh, uh, that I would have shit it on that movie, man. But John Cena kind of made that movie watchable and funny. But anyways, man, here we are. Here's Amy Schumer with another fucking uh, movie. And I think this movie, the reason why it's funny, it's actually funny because it's more based, like, on a real life. Um, because I seen, um, I think it was, like, this one stand-up special that she did. And she talked about a lot of the things that happened in this movie. Uh, a lot of, like, her life experiences, um, her struggles with her weight. Um, just her being a, a total loser and a, and a slut and, you know, just fucking with different dudes and just just a whole a whole hot mess you know um and i kind of like that though i kind of how honest you know that was how brutally honest that was a part of her life and you kind of see her in this movie you kind of see that part of her life in this movie because this movie is pretty much like her uh it starts out her like being a total freaking loser man like like nothing goes her way uh, she works at a shitty job, and um, maybe towards like the the middle of the movie, uh, yeah, things start changing. But I'm not one to spoil the movie, um, so I'm not gonna talk more about the plot. But that's kind of so you get the gist of it. Um, I must say, Amy Schumer redeemed herself with this movie. Not saying that she's like a really hilarious person. But this kind of made up for what she did with a uh, train wreck. Train wreck was was really a disaster. Well, you know, like I said, John Cena kind of saved that movie. But this movie, she redeemed herself because this movie, she was being more herself. She was acting more natural, and she was just actually had some funny one lines, one liners, and I actually found myself laughing at the shit she was saying. And the situations that were going on in this movie, man, it was actually pretty funny. Like, I didn't feel like it was trying too hard. There are some scenes that I, I did feel were, you know, like they were trying to too hard. But this movie is genuinely funny. Like, you know, not from beginning to end, but there it has its moments. And I was really surprised by that. I was like, holy shit, you know. And I think it's because they actually have some good writers for this movie, you know. Um, I think that's part of it. But she actually redeemed herself for, from Trainwreck, man. If you guys like Amy Schumer or you don't like her, I still recommend you guys watch this movie because it's like, um, it's actually pretty funny, man. If you want to watch a funny movie, and I think it just came out on Netflix. Uh, it just came out on my movie app. Um, but if you guys can find it, if you guys like Amy Schumer, if you're an Amy Schumer fan, then definitely watch this. Even if you're not an Amy Schumer fan, um, I might see some more of her movies, man. Cause I, I'm not a hater, you know, but like I said, this movie was actually, I was pleasantly surprised. So yeah, it's called I Feel Pretty and I recommend you guys watch it, man. I never thought I'd say this, you know, about an Amy Schumer movie, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later and, uh, try to, like, survive the heat wave, like I've been saying, um, 
it's it's gonna get really hot man we got triple digits triple digit heat you know that's why i'm wearing my shades man but uh yeah man stay safe don't burn yourself with the fireworks and keep it classy peace